Germany, officially the Federal Republic of Germany, is a country in Central Europe. It is the second most populous country in Europe after Russia, and the most populous member state of the European Union. Germany is situated between the Baltic and North Seas to the north, and the Alps to the south, it covers an area of 357,022 square kilometers, with a population of over 83 million within its 16 constituent states. Germany borders Denmark to the north, Poland and the Czech Republic to the east, Austria and Switzerland to the south, and France, Luxembourg, Belgium, and the Netherlands to the west. The nation's capital and largest city is Berlin, and its financial center is Frankfurt, the largest urban area is the Ruhr. Various Germanic tribes have inhabited the northern parts of modern Germany since classical antiquity. A region named Germania was documented before AD 100. In the 10th century, German territories formed a central part of the Holy Roman Empire. During the 16th century, northern German regions became the center of the Protestant Reformation. Following the Napoleonic Wars and the dissolution of the Holy Roman Empire in 1806, the German Confederation was formed in 1815. In 1871, Germany became a nation-state when most of the German states unified into the Prussian-dominated German Empire. After World War I and the German Revolution of 1918-1919, the empire was replaced by the semi-presidential Weimar Republic. The Nazi seizure of power in 1933 led to the establishment of a dictatorship, World War II, and the Holocaust. After the end of World War II in Europe and a period of Allied occupation, Germany was divided into the Federal Republic of Germany, generally known as West Germany, and the German Democratic Republic, East Germany. The Federal Republic of Germany was a founding member of the European Economic Community and the European Union, while the German Democratic Republic was a communist Eastern Bloc state and member of the Warsaw Pact. After the fall of communism, German reunification saw the former East German states join the Federal Republic of Germany on 3 October 1990, becoming a federal parliamentary republic. Germany is a great power with a strong economy, it has the largest economy in Europe, the world's fourth largest economy by nominal GDP, and the fifth largest by PPP. As a global leader in several industrial, scientific and technological sectors, it is both the world's third largest exporter and importer of goods. As a developed country, which ranks very high on the Human Development Index, it offers social security and a universal health care system, environmental protections, and a tuition-free university education. Germany is a member of the United Nations, NATO, the G7, the G20, and the OECD. It has the third greatest number of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Chapter 1 Etymology The English word Germany derives from the Latin Germania, which came into use after Julius Caesar adopted it for the peoples east of the Rhine. The German term Deutschland, originally Dioschu Land, is derived from Deutsch, descended from Old High German Diotisk of the people originally used, to distinguish the language of the common people from Latin, and its Romance descendants. This in turn descends, from Proto-Germanic Theodiscas of the people, derived from Tudo, descended from Proto-Indo-European Tutor II people, from which the word, Teutons also originates. Chapter 2, History Ancient humans were present in Germany at least 600,000 years ago. The first non-modern human fossil was discovered in the Neander Valley. Similarly dated evidence of modern humans has been found in the Swabian Jura, including 42,000-year-old flutes which are the oldest musical instruments ever found, the 40,000-year-old Lion Man, and the 35,000-year-old Venus of Whole Fells. The Nebra Sky Disc, created during the European Bronze Age, is attributed to a German site. Chapter 2 Section 1, Germanic Tribes and Frankish Empire The Germanic tribes are thought to date from the Nordic Bronze Age or the Pre-Roman Iron Age. From southern Scandinavia and north Germany, they expanded south, east, and west, 
coming into contact with the Celtic, Iranian, Baltic, and Slavic tribes. Under Augustus, the Roman Empire began to invade lands inhabited by the Germanic tribes, creating a short lived Roman province of Germania between the Rhine and Elbe rivers. In 9 AD, three Roman legions were defeated by Arminius. By 100 AD, when Tacitus wrote Germania, Germanic tribes had settled along the Rhine and the Danube, occupying most of modern Germany. However, Waden Württemberg, southern Bavaria, southern Hesse, and the western Rhineland had been incorporated into Roman provinces. Around 260, Germanic peoples broke into Roman controlled lands. After the invasion of the Huns in 375, and with the decline of Rome from 395, Germanic tribes moved farther southwest, the Franks established the Frankish kingdom and pushed east, to subjugate Saxony and Bavaria, and areas of what is today eastern Germany were inhabited by western Slavic tribes. Chapter 2 Section 2 East Francia, and Holy Roman Empire Charlemagne founded the Carolingian Empire in 800, it was divided in 843 and the Holy Roman Empire emerged from the eastern portion. The territory initially known as East Francia stretched from the Rhine in the west, to the Elbe River in the east and from the North Sea to the Alps. The Ottonian rulers consolidated several major duchies. In 996 Gregory V became the first German Pope, appointed by his cousin Otto III, whom he shortly after crowned Holy Roman Emperor. The Holy Roman Empire absorbed northern Italy and Burgundy under the Salian emperors, although the emperors lost power through the investiture controversy. Under the Hohenstaufen emperors, German princes encouraged German settlement to the south and east. Members of the Hanseatic League, mostly North German towns, prospered in the expansion of trade. The population declined starting with the Great Famine in 1315 followed by the Black Death of 1348-50. The Golden Bull issued in 1356 provided the constitutional structure of the empire and codified the election of the emperor by seven prince-electors. Johannes Gutenberg introduced movable type printing to Europe, laying the basis for the democratization of knowledge. In 1517, Martin Luther incited the Protestant Reformation and his translation of the Bible began the standardization of the language, the 1555 Peace of Augsburg, tolerated the evangelical faith, but also decreed that the faith of the prince was to be the faith of his subjects. From the Cologne War through the Thirty Years' Wars, religious conflict devastated German lands and significantly reduced the population. The Peace of Westphalia ended religious warfare among the imperial estates, their mostly German-speaking rulers were able to choose Roman Catholicism, Lutheranism, or the Reformed faith as their official religion. The legal system initiated by a series of imperial reforms provided for considerable local autonomy, and a stronger imperial diet. The House of Habsburg held the imperial crown from 1438 until the death of Charles VI in 1740. Following the War of Austrian Succession and the Treaty of Aix-la-Chapelle, Charles VI's daughter Maria Theresa ruled as Empress Consort when her husband, Francis I, became Emperor. From 1740, dualism between the Austrian Habsburg monarchy and the Kingdom of Prussia dominated German history. In 1772, 1793, and 1795, Prussia and Austria, along with the Russian Empire, agreed to the partitions of Poland. During the period of the French Revolutionary Wars, the Napoleonic era, and the subsequent final meeting of the Imperial Diet, most of the free imperial cities were annexed by dynastic territories, the ecclesiastical territories were secularized and annexed. In 1806 the Imperium was dissolved, France, Russia, Prussia and the Habsburgs competed for hegemony in the German states during the Napoleonic Wars. Chapter 2 Section 3 German Confederation and Empire Following the fall of Napoleon, the Congress of Vienna founded the German Confederation, a loose league of 39 sovereign states. The appointment of the Emperor of Austria as the permanent president reflected the Congress's rejection of Prussia's rising influence. 
Disagreement within restoration politics partly led to the rise of liberal movements, followed by new measures of repression by Austrian statesman Clemens von Metternich. The Solferein, a tariff union, furthered economic unity. In light of revolutionary movements in Europe, intellectuals and commoners started the revolutions of 1848 in the German states, raising the German question. King Frederick William IV of Prussia was offered the title of emperor, but with a loss of power, he rejected the crown and the proposed constitution, a temporary setback for the movement. King William I appointed Otto von Bismarck as the minister-president of Prussia in 1862. Bismarck successfully concluded the war with Denmark in 1864, the subsequent decisive Prussian victory in the Austro-Prussian War of 1866 enabled him to create the North German Confederation which excluded Austria. After the defeat of France in the Franco-Prussian War, the German princes proclaimed the founding of the German Empire in 1871. Prussia was the dominant constituent state of the new empire, the King of Prussia ruled as its Kaiser, and Berlin became its capital dot in the Grundesiat period following the unification of Germany, Bismarck's foreign policy as Chancellor of Germany secured Germany's position as a great nation by forging alliances and avoiding war. However, under Wilhelm II, Germany took an imperialistic course, leading to friction with neighboring countries. A dual alliance was created with the multinational realm of Austria-Hungary, the Triple Alliance of 1882 included Italy. Britain, France and Russia also concluded alliances to protect against Habsburg interference with Russian interests in the Balkans or German interference against France. At the Berlin Conference in 1884, Germany claimed several colonies including German East Africa, German Southwest Africa, Togoland, and Komayun. Later, Germany further expanded its colonial empire to include holdings in the Pacific and China. The colonial government in Southwest Africa, from 1904 to 1907, carried out the annihilation of the local Herero and Namokwa peoples as punishment for an uprising, this was the 20th century's first genocide. The assassination of Austria's Crown Prince on 28 June 1914 provided the pretext for Austria Hungary to attack Serbia and trigger World War I. After four years of warfare, in which approximately two million German soldiers were killed, a general armistice ended the fighting. In the German Revolution, Emperor Wilhelm II and the ruling princes abdicated their positions, and Germany was declared a federal republic. Germany's new leadership signed the Treaty of Versailles in 1919, accepting defeat by the Allies. Germans perceived the treaty as humiliating, which was seen by historians as influential in the rise of Adolf Hitler. Germany lost around 13% of its European territory and ceded all of its colonial possessions in Africa and the South Sea. Chapter 2 Section 4 Weimar Republic and Nazi Germany On the 11th of August 1919, President Friedrich Ebert signed the Democratic Weimar Constitution. In the subsequent struggle for power, communists seized power in Bavaria, but conservative elements elsewhere attempted to overthrow the republic in the Cap Putsch. Street fighting in the major industrial centers, the occupation of the Ruhr by Belgian and French troops, and a period of hyperinflation followed. A debt restructuring plan and the creation of a new currency in 1924 ushered in the Golden Twenties, an era of artistic innovation and liberal cultural life. The worldwide Great Depression hit Germany in 1929. Chancellor Heinrich Brüning's government pursued a policy of fiscal austerity and deflation which caused unemployment of nearly 30% by 1932. The Nazi party led by Adolf Hitler became the largest party in Reichstag after a special election in 1932 and Hindenburg appointed Hitler as Chancellor of Germany on 30 January 1933. After the Reichstag fire, a decree abrogated basic civil rights and the first Nazi concentration camp opened. The enabling act gave Hitler unrestricted legislative power, overriding the constitution, his government established a centralized totalitarian state, withdrew from the League of Nations, and dramatically increased the country's rearmament. A government-sponsored program for economic renewal focused on public works, 
the most famous of which was the Autobahn. In 1935, the regime withdrew from the Treaty of Versailles and introduced the Nuremberg Laws, which targeted Jews and other minorities. Germany also reacquired control of the Saarland in 1935, remilitarized the Rhineland in 1936, annexed Austria in 1938, annexed the Sudetenland in 1938 with the Munich Agreement, and in violation of the agreement occupied Czechoslovakia in March 1939. Kristallnacht saw the burning of synagogues, the destruction of Jewish businesses, and mass arrests of Jewish people. In August 1939, Hitler's government negotiated the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact that divided Eastern Europe into German and Soviet spheres of influence. On 1 September 1939, Germany invaded Poland, beginning World War II in Europe, Britain and France declared war on Germany on 3 September. In the spring of 1940, Germany conquered Denmark and Norway, the Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, and France, forcing the French government to sign an armistice. The British repelled German air attacks in the Battle of Britain in the same year. In 1941, German troops invaded Yugoslavia, Greece and the Soviet Union. By 1942, Germany and its allies controlled most of continental Europe and North Africa, but following the Soviet victory at the Battle of Stalingrad, the Allies' reconquest of North Africa, and invasion of Italy in 1943, German forces suffered repeated military defeats. In 1944, the Soviets pushed into Eastern Europe, the Western Allies landed in France and entered Germany despite a final German counteroffensive. Following Hitler's suicide during the Battle of Berlin, Germany surrendered on 8 May 1945, ending World War II in Europe. Following the end of the war, Surviving Nazi officials were tried for war crimes at the Nuremberg trials. In what later became known as the Holocaust, the German government persecuted minorities, including interning them in concentration and death camps across Europe. In total, 17 million people were systematically murdered, including 6 million Jews, at least 130,000 Romani, 275,000 disabled people, thousands of Jehovah's Witnesses, thousands of homosexuals and hundreds of thousands of political and religious opponents. Nazi policies in German-occupied countries resulted in the deaths of an estimated 2.7 million Poles, 1.3 million Ukrainians, 1 million Belarusians and 3.5 million Soviet prisoners of war. German military casualties have been estimated at 5.3 million, and around 900,000 German civilians died. Around 12 million ethnic Germans were expelled from across Eastern Europe, and Germany lost roughly one quarter of its pre-war territory. Chapter 2 Section 5, East and West Germany After Nazi Germany surrendered, the Allies partitioned Berlin and Germany's remaining territory into four occupation zones. The Western sectors, controlled by France, the United Kingdom, and the United States, were merged on 23 May 1949 to form the Federal Republic of Germany, on 7 October 1949, the Soviet zone became the German Democratic Republic. They were informally known as West Germany and East Germany. East Germany selected East Berlin as its capital, while West Germany chose Bonn as a provisional capital, to emphasize its stance that the two-state solution was temporary. West Germany was established as a federal parliamentary republic with a social market economy. Starting in 1948 West Germany became a major recipient of reconstruction aid under the Marshall Plan. Konrad Adenauer was elected the first federal chancellor of Germany in 1949. The country enjoyed prolonged economic growth beginning in the early 1950s. West Germany joined NATO in 1955 and was a founding member of the European Economic Community. East Germany was an Eastern Bloc state under political and military control by the USSR via occupation forces and the Warsaw Pact. Although East Germany claimed to be a democracy, political power was exercised solely by leading members of the Communist controlled Socialist Unity Party of Germany, supported by the Stasi, an immense secret service. While East German propaganda was based on the benefits of the GDR's social programs and the alleged threat of a West German invasion, 
many of its citizens looked to the West for freedom and prosperity. The Berlin Wall, built in 1961, prevented East German citizens from escaping to West Germany, becoming a symbol of the Cold War. Tensions between East and West Germany were reduced in the late 1960s by Chancellor Willy Brandt's Ostpolitik. In 1989, Hungary decided to dismantle the Iron Curtain and open its border with Austria, causing the emigration of thousands of East Germans to West Germany via Hungary and Austria. This had devastating effects on the GDR, where regular mass demonstrations received increasing support. In an effort to help retain East Germany as a state, the East German authorities eased border restrictions, but this actually led to an acceleration of the Wendy reform process culminating in the 2 plus 4 treaty under which Germany regained full sovereignty. This permitted German reunification on 3 October 1990, with the accession of the five re-established states of the former GDR. The fall of the wall in 1989 became a symbol of the fall of communism, the dissolution of the Soviet Union, German reunification, and Die Wendy. Chapter 2 Section 6, Reunified Germany and the European Union United Germany was considered the enlarged continuation of West Germany so it retained its memberships in international organizations. Based on the Berlin-Bonn Act, Berlin again became the capital of Germany, while Bonn obtained the unique status of a Bundesstaat retaining some federal ministries. The relocation of the government was completed in 1999, and modernization of the East German economy was scheduled to last until 2000, and 19. Since reunification, Germany has taken a more active role in the European Union, signing the Maastricht Treaty in 1992 and the Lisbon Treaty in 2007, and co-founding the Eurozone. Germany sent a peacekeeping force to secure stability in the Balkans and sent German troops to Afghanistan as part of a NATO effort to provide security in that country after the ousting of the Taliban. In the 2005 elections, Angela Merkel became the first female chancellor. In 2009 the German government approved a 50 billion euros stimulus plan. Among the major German political projects of the early 21st century are the advancement of European integration, the energy transition for a sustainable energy supply, the debt break for balanced budgets, measures to increase the fertility rate, and high-tech strategies for the transition of the German economy, summarized as Industry 4.0. During the 2015 European migrant crisis, the country took in over a million refugees and migrants. Chapter 3 Geography. Germany is the seventh largest country in Europe, bordering Denmark to the north, Poland and the Czech Republic to the east, Austria to the southeast, and Switzerland to the south southwest. France, Luxembourg, and Belgium are situated to the west, with the Netherlands to the northwest. Germany is also bordered by the North Sea and, at the north northeast, by the Baltic Sea. German territory covers 357,022 square kilometers, consisting of 348,672 square kilometers of land and 8,350 square kilometers of water. Elevation ranges from the mountains of the Alps in the south to the shores of the North Sea in the northwest and the Baltic Sea in the northeast. The forested uplands of central Germany, and the lowlands of northern Germany are traversed by such major rivers as the Rhine, Danube, and Elbe. Significant natural resources include iron ore, coal, potash, timber, lignite, uranium, copper, natural gas, salt, and nickel. Chapter 3 Section 1 – Climate Most of Germany has a temperate climate, ranging from oceanic in the north to continental in the east and southeast. Winters range from the cold in the southern Alps to mild and are generally overcast with limited precipitation, while summers can vary from hot and dry to cool and rainy. The northern regions have prevailing westerly winds that bring in moist air from the North Sea, moderating the temperature and increasing precipitation. Conversely, the southeast regions have more extreme temperatures. From February 2019 to 2020, Average monthly temperatures in Germany ranged from a low of 3.3 degrees Celsius in January 2020 to a high of 19.8 degrees Celsius in June 2019. 
Average monthly precipitation ranged from 30 litres per square metre in February and April 2019 to 125 litres per square metre in February 2020. Average monthly hours of sunshine ranged from 45 in November 2019 to 300 in June 2019. The highest temperature ever recorded in Germany was 42.6 degrees Celsius on 25 July 2019 in Lingen, and the lowest was minus 37.8 degrees Celsius on 12 February 1929 in Wolmsack. Chapter 3 Section 2 – Biodiversity The territory of Germany can be divided into five terrestrial eco-regions, Atlantic mixed forests, Baltic mixed forests, Central European mixed forests, Western European broadleaf forests, and Alps conifer and mixed forests. As of 2016 51% of Germany's land area is devoted to agriculture, while 30% is forested and 14% is covered by settlements or infrastructure. Plants and animals include those generally common to Central Europe. According to the National Forest Inventory, beeches, oaks, and other deciduous trees constitute just over 40% of the forests, roughly 60% are conifers, particularly spruce and pine. There are many species of ferns, flowers, fungi, and mosses. Wild animals include roe deer, wild boar, mouflon, fox, badger, hare, and small numbers of the Eurasian beaver. The blue cornflower was once a German national symbol. The 16 national parks in Germany include the Osmund National Park, the Vorpommern Lagoon Area National Park, the Moritz National Park, the Waden Sea National Parks, the Harz National Park, the Hainich National Park, the Black Forest National Park, the Saxon Switzerland National Park, the Bavarian Forest National Park, and the Berchtesgaden National Park. In addition, there are 17 biosphere reserves, and 105 nature parks. More than 400 zoos and animal parks operate in Germany. The Berlin Zoo, which opened in 1844, is the oldest in Germany, and claims the most comprehensive collection of species in the world. Chapter 3 Section 3 Constituent States Germany is a federal state and comprises 16 constituent states which are collectively referred to as Länder. Each state has its own constitution, and is largely autonomous in regard to its internal organization. As of 2017 Germany is divided into 401 districts at a municipal level, these consist of 294 rural districts and 107 urban districts. Chapter 3 Section 4 Law Germany has a civil law system based on Roman law with some references to Germanic law. The Bundesverfassungsgericht is the German Supreme Court responsible for constitutional matters, with power of judicial review. Germany's Supreme Court system is specialized, for civil and criminal cases, the highest court of appeal is the Inquisitorial Federal Court of Justice, and for other affairs the courts are the Federal Labor Court, the Federal Social Court, the Federal Finance Court and the Federal Administrative Court. Criminal and private laws are codified on the national level in the Strafgesetzbuch and the Burgerliches Gesetzbuch, respectively. The German penal system seeks the rehabilitation of the criminal and the protection of the public. Except for petty crimes, which are tried before a single professional judge, and serious political crimes, all charges are tried before mixed tribunals on which lay judges sit side by side with professional judges. Germany has a low murder rate with 1.18 murders per 100,000 as of 2016. In 2018, the overall crime rate fell to its lowest since 1992. Chapter 3 Section 5 Foreign Relations Germany has a network of 227 diplomatic missions abroad and maintains relations with more than 190 countries. Germany is a member of NATO, the OECD, the G8, the G20, the World Bank and the IMF. It has played an influential role in the European Union since its inception and has maintained a strong alliance with France and all neighboring countries since 1990. Germany promotes the creation of a more unified European political, economic and security apparatus. The governments of Germany and the United States are close political allies. 
Cultural ties and economic interests have crafted a bond between the two countries resulting in Atlanticism. The development policy of Germany is an independent area of foreign policy. It is formulated by the Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development and carried out by the implementing organizations. The German government sees development policy as a joint responsibility of the international community. It was the world's second biggest aid donor in 2019 after the United States. Chapter 3 Section 6 Military Germany's military, the Bundeswehr, is organized into the Heer, Marine, Luftwaffe, Zentrale Sanitätsdienst der Bundeswehr and Streitkraft basis branches. In absolute terms, German military expenditure is the eighth highest in the world. In 2018, military spending was at $49.5 billion, about 1.2% of the country's GDP, well below the NATO target of 2%. As of January 2020, the Bundeswehr has a strength of 184,001 active soldiers and 80,947 civilians. Reservists are available to the armed forces and participate in defense exercises and deployments abroad. Until 2011, military service was compulsory for men at age 18, but this has been officially suspended and replaced with a voluntary service. Since 2001 women may serve in all functions of service without restriction. According to the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, Germany was the fourth largest exporter of major arms in the world from 2014 to 2018. In peacetime, the Bundeswehr is commanded by the Minister of Defense. In state of defense, the Chancellor would become Commander in Chief of the Bundeswehr. The role of the Bundeswehr is described in the Constitution of Germany as defensive only. But after a ruling of the Federal Constitutional Court in 1994, the term defense has been defined to not only include protection of the borders of Germany, but also crisis reaction and conflict prevention, or more broadly as guarding the security of Germany anywhere in the world. As of 2017, the German military has about 3,600 troops stationed in foreign countries as part of international peacekeeping forces, including about 1,200 supporting operations against Daesh, 980 in the NATO-led Resolute Support Mission in Afghanistan, and 800 in Kosovo. Chapter 4 – Economy Germany has a social market economy with a highly skilled labor force, a low level of corruption, and a high level of innovation. It is the world's third largest exporter and third largest importer of goods, and has the largest economy in Europe, which is also the world's fourth largest economy by nominal GDP, and the fifth largest by PPP. Its GDP per capita measured in purchasing power standards amounts to 121% of the EU27 average. The service sector contributes approximately 69% of the total GDP, industry 31%, and agriculture 1% as of 2017. The unemployment rate published by Eurostat amounts to 3.2% as of January 2020, which is the fourth lowest in the EU. Germany is part of the European single market which represents more than 450 million consumers. In 2017, the country accounted for 28% of the Eurozone economy according to the International Monetary Fund. Germany introduced the common European currency, the euro, in 2002. Its monetary policy is set by the European Central Bank, which is headquartered in Frankfurt being home to the modern car. The automotive industry in Germany is regarded as one of the most competitive and innovative in the world, and is the fourth largest by production. The top 10 exports of Germany are vehicles, machinery, chemical goods, electronic products, electrical equipments, pharmaceuticals, transport equipments, basic metals, food products, and rubber and plastics. Of the world's 500 largest stock market listed companies measured by revenue in 2019, the Fortune Global 500, 29 are headquartered in Germany. 30 major Germany-based companies are included in the DAX, the German stock market index which is operated by Frankfurt Stock Exchange. Well-known international brands include Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Volkswagen, Audi, Siemens, 
Allianz, Adidas, Porsche, Bosch, and Deutsche Telekom. Berlin is a hub for startup companies and has become the leading location for venture capital funded firms in the European Union. Germany is recognized for its large portion of specialized small and medium enterprises, known as the Mittelstand model. These companies represent 48% global market leaders in their segments, labeled hidden champions. Research and development efforts form an integral part of the German economy. In 2018 Germany ranked fourth globally in terms of number of science and engineering research papers published. Germany was ranked ninth in the Global Innovation Index in 2019 and 2020. Research institutions in Germany include the Max Planck Society, the Helmholtz Association, and the Fraunhofer Society, and the Leibniz Association. Germany is the largest contributor to the European Space Agency. Chapter 4 Section 1 Infrastructure With its central position in Europe, Germany is a transport hub for the continent. Its road network is among the densest in Europe. The motorway is widely known for having no general federally mandated speed limit for some classes of vehicles. The Intercity Express or ICE train network serves major German cities as well as destinations in neighboring countries with speeds up to 300 km per hour. The largest German airports are Frankfurt Airport and Munich Airport. The port of Hamburg is one of the top 20 largest container ports in the world. In 2015, Germany was the world's seventh largest consumer of energy. The government and the nuclear power industry agreed to phase out all nuclear power plants by 2021. It meets the country's power demands using 40% renewable sources. Germany is committed to the Paris Agreement and several other treaties promoting biodiversity, low emission standards, and water management. The country's household recycling rate is among the highest in the world, at around 65%. The country's greenhouse gas emissions per capita were the ninth highest in the EU in 2018. The German energy transition is the recognized move to a sustainable economy by means of energy efficiency and renewable energy. Chapter 4 Section 2 Tourism Germany is the ninth most visited country in the world as of 2017, with 37.4 million visits. Berlin has become the third most visited city destination in Europe. Domestic and international travel and tourism combined directly contribute over 105.3 billion euros to German GDP. Including indirect and induced impacts, the industry supports 4.2 million jobs. Germany's most visited and popular landmarks include Cologne Cathedral, the Brandenburg Gate, the Reichstag, the Dresden Frauenkirche, Neuschwanstein Castle, Heidelberg Castle, the Wartburg, and Sanssouci Palace. The Europa Park near Freiburg is Europe's second most popular theme park resort. Chapter 5 Demographics With a population of 80.2 million according to the 2011 German census, rising to 83.1 million as of 2019, Germany is the most populous country in the European Union, the second most populous country in Europe after Russia and the 19th most populous country in the world. Its population density stands at 227 inhabitants per square kilometer. The overall life expectancy in Germany at birth is 80.19 years. The fertility rate of 1.41 children born per woman is below the replacement rate of 2.1, and is one of the lowest fertility rates in the world. Since the 1970s, Germany's death rate has exceeded its birth rate. However, Germany is witnessing increased birth rates and migration rates since the beginning of the 2010s. Germany has the third oldest population in the world, with an average age of 47.4 years. Four sizable groups of people are referred to as national minorities because their ancestors have lived in their respective regions for centuries. There is a Danish minority in the northernmost state of Schleswig Holstein. The Sorbs, a Slavic population, are in the Lusatia region of Saxony and Brandenburg, the Roma and Sinti live throughout the country. 
and the Frisians are concentrated in Schleswig-Holstein's western coast and in the northwestern part of Lower Saxony. After the United States, Germany is the second most popular immigration destination in the world. The majority of migrants live in western Germany, in particular in urban areas. Of the country's residents, 18.6 million people were of immigrant or partially immigrant descent in 2016. In 2015, the Population Division of the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs listed Germany as host, to the second highest number of international migrants worldwide, about 5% or 12 million of all 244 million migrants. As of 2019, Germany ranks seventh amongst EU countries in terms of the percentage of migrants in the country's population, at 13.1%. Germany has a number of large cities. There are 11 officially recognized metropolitan regions. The country's largest city is Berlin, while its largest urban area is the Ruhr. Chapter 5 Section 1 Religion According to the 2011 census, Christianity was the largest religion in Germany, with 66.8% of respondents identifying as Christian, of which 3.8% were not church members. 31.7% declared themselves as Protestants, including members of the Evangelical Church in Germany and the Free Churches, 31.2% declared themselves as Roman Catholics, and Orthodox believers constituted 1.3%. According to data from 2016, the Catholic Church and the Evangelical Church claimed 28.5% and 27.5%, respectively, of the population. Islam is the second largest religion in the country. In the 2011 census, 1.9% of respondents gave their religion as Islam, but this figure is deemed unreliable because a disproportionate number of adherents of this faith are likely to have made use of their right not to answer the question. Most of the Muslims are Sunnis and Alevites from Turkey, but there are a small number of Shiites, Ahmadiyyas and other denominations. Other religions comprise less than 1% of Germany's population. A study in 2018 estimated that 38% of the population are not members of any religious organization or denomination, though up to a third may still consider themselves religious. A religion in Germany is strongest in the former East Germany, which used to be predominantly Protestant before the enforcement of state atheism, and in major metropolitan areas. Chapter 5 Section 2 Languages. German is the official and predominant spoken language in Germany. It is one of 24 official and working languages of the European Union, and one of the three procedural languages of the European Commission. German is the most widely spoken first language in the European Union, with around 100 million native speakers. Recognized native minority languages in Germany are Danish, Low German, Low Rhenish, Sorbian. Romani, North Frisian and Satterland Frisian, they are officially protected by the European Charter for Regional or Minority Languages. The most used immigrant languages are Turkish, Arabic, Kurdish, Polish, the Balkan languages and Russian. Germans are typically multilingual, 67% of German citizens claim to be able to communicate in at least one foreign language and 27% in at least two. Chapter 5 Section 3 Education. Responsibility for educational supervision in Germany is primarily organized within the individual states. Optional kindergarten education is provided for all children between 3 and 6 years old, after which school attendance is compulsory for at least 9 years. Primary education usually lasts for 4 to 6 years. Secondary schooling is divided into tracks based on whether students pursue academic or vocational education. A system of apprenticeship called dual A Ausbildung leads to a skilled qualification which is almost comparable to an academic degree. It allows students in vocational training to learn in a company as well as in a state-run trade school. This model is well regarded and reproduced all around the world. Most of the German universities are public institutions, and students traditionally study without fee payment. The general requirement for university is the abitur. According to an OECD report in 2014, Germany is the world's third leading destination for international study. 
The established universities in Germany include some of the oldest in the world, with Heidelberg University being the oldest. The Humboldt University of Berlin, founded in 1810 by the liberal educational reformer Wilhelm von Humboldt, became the academic model for many Western universities. In the contemporary era Germany has developed 11 universities of excellence. Chapter 5 Section 4 Health Germany's system of hospitals, called Krankenhäuser, dates from medieval times, and today, Germany has the world's oldest universal health care system, dating from Bismarck's social legislation of the 1880s. Since the 1880s, reforms and provisions have ensured a balanced health care system. The population is covered by a health insurance plan provided by statute, with criteria allowing some groups to opt for a private health insurance contract. According to the World Health Organization, Germany's health care system was 77% government funded and 23% privately funded as of 2013. In 2014, Germany spent 11.3% of its GDP on health care. Germany ranked 20th in the world in 2013 in life expectancy with 77 years for men and 82 years for women and it had a very low infant mortality rate. In 2019, the principal cause of death was cardiovascular disease, at 37%. Obesity in Germany has been increasingly cited as a major health issue. A 2014 study showed that 52% of the adult German population was overweight, or obese. Chapter 6, Culture Culture in German states has been shaped by major intellectual and popular currents in Europe, both religious and secular. Historically, Germany has been called Das Land der Ditcher und Denker, because of the major role its scientists, writers and philosophers have played in the development of Western thought. A global opinion poll for the BBC revealed that Germany is recognized for having the most positive influence in the world in 2013 and 2014. Germany is well known for such folk festival traditions as Oktoberfest and Christmas customs, which include advent wreaths, Christmas pageants, Christmas trees, stall and cakes, and other practices. As of 2016 UNESCO inscribed 41 properties in Germany on the World Heritage List. There are a number of public holidays in Germany determined by each state, the 3rd of October has been a national day of Germany since 1990, celebrated as the Tag der Deutschen Einheit. Chapter 6, Section 1, Music German classical music includes works by some of the world's most well-known composers. Dietrich Buxtehude, Johann Sebastian Bach and Georg Friedrich Handel were influential composers of the Baroque period. Ludwig van Beethoven was a crucial figure in the transition between the classical and romantic eras. Karl Maria von Weber, Felix Mendelssohn, Robert Schumann and Johannes Brahms were significant romantic composers. Richard Wagner was known for his operas. Richard Strauss was a leading composer of the late romantic and early modern eras. Karl Heinz Stockhausen and Wolfgang Riem are important composers of the 20th and early 21st centuries. As of 2013, Germany was the second largest music market in Europe, and fourth largest in the world. German popular music of the 20th and 21st centuries includes the movements of Neue Deutsche Welle, pop, Ostrock, heavy metal slash rock, punk, pop rock, indie, Volksmusik, Schlager pop, and German hip hop. German electronic music gained global influence, with Kraftwerk and Tangerine Dream pioneering in this genre. DJs and artists of the techno and house music scenes of Germany have become well known. Chapter 6, Section 2, Art and Design German painters have influenced Western art. Albrecht Dürer, Hans Holbein the Younger, Matthias Grunewald and Lucas Cronach the Elder were important German artists of the Renaissance, Johann Baptist Zimmermann of the Baroque, Caspar David Friedrich and Karl Spitzek of Romanticism, Max Liebermann of Impressionism and Max Ernst of Surrealism. Several German art groups formed in the 20th century, Guy Brucker and Der Blauer Reiter influenced the development of Expressionism in Munich and Berlin. 
The new objectivity arose in response to expressionism during the Weimar Republic. After World War II, broad trends in German art include neo-expressionism and the new Leipzig School. Architectural contributions from Germany include the Carolingian and Ottonian styles, which were precursors of Romanesque. Brick Gothic is a distinctive medieval style that evolved in Germany. Also in Renaissance and Baroque art, regional and typically German elements evolved. Vernacular architecture in Germany is often identified by its timber framing traditions and varies across regions, and among carpentry styles. When industrialization spread across Europe, classicism and a distinctive style of historicism developed in Germany, sometimes referred to as Grundesiet style. Expressionist architecture developed in the 1910s in Germany and influenced Art Deco and other modern styles. Germany was particularly important in the early modernist movement, it is the home of workbund initiated by Hermann Mathesius, and of the Bauhaus movement founded by Walter Gropius. Ludwig Mies van der Rohe became one of the world's most renowned architects in the second half of the 20th century, he conceived of the glass facade skyscraper. Renowned contemporary architects and offices include Pritzker Prize winners Gottfried Bohm and Fry Otto. German designers became early leaders of modern product design. The Berlin Fashion Week and the Fashion Trade Fair Bread and Butter are held twice a year. Chapter 6 Section 3 Literature and Philosophy German literature can be traced back to the Middle Ages and the works of writers, such as Walther von der Vogelweide, and Wolfram von Eschenbach. Well-known German authors include Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, Friedrich Schiller, Gotthold Ephraim Lessing, and Theodore Fontana. The collections of folk tales published by the Brothers Grimm popularized German folklore on an international level. The Grimms also gathered and codified regional variants of the German language, grounding their work in historical principles, their Deutsches Wörterbuch, or German Dictionary, sometimes called the Grimm Dictionary, was begun in 1838, and the first volumes published in 1854. Influential authors of the 20th century include Gerhard Hauptmann, Thomas Mann, Hermann Hess, Heinrich Boll, and Gunter Grass. The German book market is the third largest in the world, after the United States and China. The Frankfurt Book Fair is the most important in the world for international deals and trading, with a tradition spanning over 500 years. The Leipzig Book Fair also retains a major position in Europe. German philosophy is historically significant, Gottfried Leibniz's contributions to rationalism, the Enlightenment philosophy by Immanuel Kant, the establishment of classical German idealism by Johann Gottlieb Fichte, Georg Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel and Friedrich Wilhelm Joseph Schelling. Arthur Schopenhauer's composition of metaphysical pessimism, the formulation of communist theory by Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels, Friedrich Nietzsche's development of perspectivism, Gottlob Frege's contributions to the dawn of analytic philosophy, Martin Heidegger's works on being, Oswald Spengler's historical philosophy, the development of the Frankfurt School has been particularly influential. Chapter 6, Section 4, Media the largest internationally operating media companies in Germany are the Bertelsmann Enterprise, Axel Springer SE and ProSieben Sat.1 Media. Germany's television market is the largest in Europe, with some 38 million TV households. Around 90% of German households have cable or satellite TV, with a variety of free-to-view public and commercial channels. There are more than 300 public and private radio stations in Germany, Germany's national radio network is the Deutschland Radio and the public Deutsche Welle is the main German radio and television broadcaster in foreign languages. Germany's print market of newspapers and magazines is the largest in Europe. The papers with the highest circulation are Bild, Zut Deutsche Zeitung, Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung, and Die Welt. The largest magazines include ADAC Motorwelt and Der Spiegel. Germany has a large video gaming market, with over 34 million players nationwide. German cinema has made major technical and artistic contributions to film. The first works of the Sklodanovsky brothers were shown to an audience in 1895. 
The renowned Babelsberg studio in Potsdam was established in 1912, thus being the first large-scale film studio in the world. Early German cinema was particularly influential with German expressionists such as Robert Wien and Friedrich Wilhelm Murnau. Director Fritz Lang's Metropolis is referred to as the first major science fiction film. After 1945, many of the films of the immediate post-war period can be characterized as trauma film. East German film was dominated by state-owned film studio Defa, while the dominant genre in West Germany was the Heimat film. During the 1970s and 1980s, new German cinema directors such as Volker Schlerndorf, Werner Herzog, Wim Wenders, and Rainer Werner Fassbinder brought West German auteur cinema to critical acclaim. The Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film went to the German production The Tin Drum in 1979, to Nowhere in Africa in 2002, and to The Lives of Others in 2007. Various Germans won an Oscar for their performances in other films. The annual European Film Awards ceremony is held every other year in Berlin, home of the European Film Academy. The Berlin International Film Festival, known as Berlin Ale, awarding the Golden Bear and held annually since 1951, is one of the world's leading film festivals. The Lolas are annually awarded in Berlin, at the German Film Awards. Chapter 6, Section 5, Cuisine German cuisine varies from region to region and often neighboring regions share some culinary similarities. International varieties such as pizza, sushi, Chinese food, Greek food, Indian cuisine and doner kebab are also popular. Bread is a significant part of German cuisine and German bakeries produce about 600 main types of bread and 1,200 types of pastries and rolls. German cheeses account for about 22% of all cheese produced in Europe. In 2012 over 99% of all meat produced in Germany was either pork, chicken or beef. Germans produce their ubiquitous sausages in almost 1,500 varieties, including bratwursts and weisswursts. The national alcoholic drink is beer. German beer consumption per person stands at 110 liters in 2013 and remains among the highest in the world. German beer purity regulations date back to the 16th century. Wine is becoming more popular in many parts of the country, especially close to German wine regions. In 2019, Germany was the ninth largest wine producer in the world. The 2018 Michelin Guide awarded 11 restaurants in Germany three stars, giving the country a cumulative total of 300 stars. Chapter 6 Section 6 Sports Football is the most popular sport in Germany. With more than 7 million official members, the German Football Association is the largest single sport organization worldwide and the German top league, the Bundesliga, attracts the second-highest average attendance of all professional sports leagues in the world. The German men's national football team won the FIFA World Cup in 1954, 1974, 1990, and 2014, the UEFA European Championship in 1972, 1980 and 1996, and the FIFA Confederations Cup in 2017. Germany, is one of the leading motorsports countries in the world. Constructors like BMW and Mercedes are prominent manufacturers in motorsport. Porsche has won the 24 Hours of Le Mans race 19 times, and Audi 13 times. The driver Michael Schumacher has set many motorsport records during his career, having won seven Formula One World Drivers Championships. Sebastian Vettel is also among the top five most successful Formula One drivers of all time. Historically, German athletes have been successful contenders in the Olympic Games, ranking third in an all time Olympic Games medal count. Germany was the last country to host both the Summer and Winter Games in the same year, in 1936, the Berlin Summer Games and the Winter Games in Garmisch Partenkirchen. Munich hosted the Summer Games of 1972. Chapter 7, Sources Fulbrook, Mary. A Concise History of Germany. Cambridge University Press. 
ISBN 9780521360836 Large David Clay Nazi Games The Olympics of 1936 W W Norton and Company ISBN 9780393058840